hey guys and welcome back to my channel please forgive the the crooked voice i'm having cold so that's why my voice is like this but i'm bringing you guys another of this radio radio show call um i just stumbled on it and i'm loving it already i think i will go search out for their channel well yeah there's another call this the man in question today is mr thomas in fact let me not let the cat out of the bag let me allow you guys to hear for yourself but let me know your thoughts are as you are you know listening to the call let's do this guys hello yeah can i speak to thomas please this is him who is it thomas what's up man this is jubal from brook and jubal in the morning um who's, who's that uh brook and jubal in the morning it's a radio show uh okay um, you ever listened to us before? Nah, I don't. I don't do mornings really. I don't blame you. <laughs> I, don't, I am dude. so jealous of that. Man. You are a good person. Yeah, seriously, you got to figure it out. I'm so tired yeah. of waking up this early. Um, <laughs> well, so what, so what, did I like win something? What's going on? No, you didn't. We do a segment on our show. It's called the Second Date Update. That's where if you go out on a date with somebody and then end up not calling them back after, they can email us to see if we can get you on the phone and find out what happened. So somebody emailed us about you. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. Uh, <laughs> it is a lot to get a hold of somebody, but it's usually because they really liked the person. Any idea who would have emailed us? I don't know, dude. Um, Are you awake right now, Thomas? I mean, I don't want to be, but I am now. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I feel man. You, man. I, I, I'm right there with you. Is this going to take, like, how long is this going to take? It shouldn't take more than a few minutes uh, in case you're busy or whatever. But I just want to go back to sleep. But <laughs> well, do you remember going out with a girl named Kelsey? Probably. Probably? Probably? Oh, my God. Do you remember her or no? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Okay. Well, Kelsey emailed us because she told us about your date. And she said that you guys went for a walk, stopped by the grocery store, and she invited you to the movies. And that's when you... Oh, uh, yeah, it was a lot. It was... It was a lot. It was a lot? It was a lot? <laughs> what was a lot about it? The walk or the grocery store? All of it. It was... Uh, anyway, so what, what, do, what do you do? Oh, need? my God. Thomas, well, you just Kelsey, did a... Uh. Kelsey wants to know why you're not calling her back. Oh, gosh. Thomas! Uh, can, you tell, can you tell us why? I guess. It was just like she wanted to do so much stuff. Really? What do you mean? She thought she was too boring for yeah. you. She thought that a walk in a grocery store was like lame and that you were looking for more excitement. Who, and that's why. Who, I don't. Who walks? Like, that's why they invented cars and Uber. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, why, why do we have to walk? It was so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so it's not that you were bored on the date. You just didn't want to walk. Pretty no, much. it was. I didn't want to do, and then and then after the walking, it goes to the random restaurant, and then the grocery store, and then I had to carry her groceries, and then I had to oh, help her wow. put the groceries up, and then and then after all of that, on top of that, she was like, "Oh yeah, let's go see a movie." I'm like, "Oh my god, I just did more work than I've done all week. <laughs> I don't want to do any more things." <laughs> and it was so late, dude. It was like eight o'clock or something. Like it was so late. I don't. I don't like it. <laughs> Wait, Thomas, I mean, you're concentrating a lot on the things that you did on the date, but what about her? Did you enjoy hanging out with her? She said she was laughing a ton. Smiling a lot. I mean, she was cool. It was just, she does too much, man. I'm not, I'm not that, I'm not an outdoorsy dude who likes to do all this. Like, I feel like she would go hiking, and that sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> So if I'm, if I'm reading this correctly, you just feel like she likes to do way too much. I mean, I'm sure she'll find someone who likes to do stuff with her, and that's <laughs> awesome. But I just don't, I don't, like, if I didn't have to leave the house, I would not leave the house. <laughs> why, wait, why are you even dating then, Thomas? Like, dating requires you to do stuff. It doesn't, though. Like, you could, you, dating, you drive to a place, you eat dinner at a place, and then that's it. <laughs> and then maybe you and maybe maybe you go back and you watch like Netflix or Hulu or something like it's not I don't know she wanted to do so many things and I just I don't like that kind of dude <laughs> I'm not oh that kind God. of dude all right well at least you know what you want Gosh. Thomas 
<laughs> oh, you should have told her that though, Thomas. She she did not. Yeah, but then I'd have to like meet up again. We probably have to go on another walk to explain why I don't like going on walks. <laughs> yeah, a lot of effort. Well, wow. Thomas, I I know that this is probably going to be hard for you to deal with, but Kelsey is on the other line and wants to talk to you for a minute. Oh, my God. You guys are the worst. <laughs> Kelsey, are you still there? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey. I what's up? I can't believe this is a like complete opposite what I thought was going on. I thought you, like, didn't like me because I was boring, but you don't want to do anything? Like, the whole point of, like, going out with someone is to, like, get to know them while doing an activity. Yeah, but you wanted to do so many activities. Like, if we just did two activities, that's it for the day. <laughs> for the day. You get a morning activity, you get a night activity, and that's it. But you wanted... What are your you activities? Wanted... Just Netflix? I mean, that and, like, a good bowl of soup. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Thomas, all it was was, like, one walk to the place that we were going to. Like, that was it. Just one. It was not that extreme. Yeah, but why would you want to walk? Like, are we cavemen? Like, all you have to do <laughs> is call an Uber. We could have saved so much time. <laughs> and then my leg was tired. I was, like, out of breath. Like, my body's not used to this type of activity. <laughs> Um, your body isn't used to going on a short walk to a restaurant. Not anymore. We're past that. Thomas, just even a little bit of exercise would make you feel better. It'd give you more energy. It may. I don't you... think it did any of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And the thing is, I'm happy with my life. I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing fine. Like I don't, I don't know why you're trying to like change me into some LA fitness jogging jock. Dude. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, man, if you're happy doing you, then just keep doing that. But I think, you know, it doesn't sound like Kelsey's that demanding, really. Yeah. And it sounds like you guys had a nice connection and that you could be missing out on something possibly pretty special. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just want someone more my speed. I feel like she's too extra. She's always like this, bam, bam, bam. I just want one thing. I do normal things that normal people do that walk places and who... Like, literally use their body. It's not that difficult. I use my body to press the Uber button. That's enough. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thomas, you sound like a human sloth is what you sound like. I'm okay with that. Oh, yeah. well, well, you know. Sloths are adorable. Sloths are, sloths are pretty, pretty cute. cute. I'll give you that oh, much. Boy. Thomas, would you like to go out on a second date with Kelsey? We'll pay for it. I mean, you don't even have to leave the house. We'll just I'll just send you a, a gift card to Netflix or something. <laughs> Get yeah, food you know. delivery for you, Thomas? I mean, I don't know. I feel like it should trick me into doing something outside. I, and me. I don't know, dude. I'm kind of cool. Hold on. This is ridiculous. Like, I'm not forcing you to do anything. We took a short walk, and I asked if you wanted to go to the movies. This is, you're so I know, but, and now, but, now you, but now you called the radio on me. Like, I feel like you go a lot of steps to it. Like, and that's cool, but I only like one step. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Honestly, Thomas, like I thought I was being the boring one, and that's why you weren't calling me back. But you're the boring one. I definitely don't want to be with someone who's that lazy. Oh, thank God. <laughs> the biggest relief Thomas has had all day. Yes. He's like, can all I right. now get off the phone? That's what you've been wanting this whole time. Kelsey, so, I'm sorry. Can I go back to sleep now? Or... Yeah, 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 one second. We'll let you go there. Oh I just want to say thank you for your time, Thomas. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, uh, radio guy. Yeah, man. Yeah. Sorry, to, sorry to make you work so much this morning. Go back <laughs> to sleep. Let me read some comments. This person said, Lizzie Thomas is also honest Thomas. His life, his standard, not forcing his way to anyone and not giving in to what society thinks is normal. You do you, Thomas. Like, I love it. Do you, Thomas. This is how it's supposed to be, like, if, if we're being honest. I love the way Thomas is honest with himself. This is me. I'm not going to do whatever you guys want, think is the right thing when it's not the right thing for me. I love that. And this is how everybody should be living their lives. I love this. Let me read some couple more comments, guys. This person said, You've, you have no idea how much sense this makes to an introvert. <laughs> like, I can actually 
attest to this it makes so much sense like so much sense i have one more comment to read this person said he sounds like me and my boyfriend dw thomas you will find your match yeah like i'm of the opinion that everybody on earth have or have people that are their match actually if just the thing is that we are not patient enough to wait for our person because everybody have got that person, somebody that will understand you, someone that will like you for you, that is just, that is not out there for their own ulterior motive. You know, as much as people tend to be selfish, you know, they look out for them, their number one, which is themselves, which is why selfishness is a thing that most people cannot help. But yeah, there's only somebody for you if you are just patient enough and, you know, you are intentional to get your person. Yeah, I think that's the word being intentional but let me know all your thoughts are in the comment section guys please don't forget to like and subscribe what do you think about thomas and his way of life bye guys